Good morning, dear faithful. We praise God once again for bringing us together here in our St. Mark's Sanctuary. We thank God for all those who are here present, for those who will be present in prayer today, and for those who continue to light their candles from afar. I know that Mark and some of our others are here to receive your candles to be lit. Let us continue to pray as one church family so that we can pray on this day and forevermore. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save it, Lord, your people. Bless your inheritance. Grant them victory to the faithful over the enemy. And by your cross, with your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are looked on the cross voluntarily of Christ our God. Bestow your tender compassions upon the new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power. Grant them the victory against their adversaries and for an ally, Lord. May they have you. Peace as their honor, the trophy of invincible, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and shameful protector, the good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise the petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. To those whom you call the rule, and grant victory to them heaven. We gave birth to God, we're truly blessed. <laughs> For you are merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill to men. You, O Lord, shall up my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. You, O Lord, shall up my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, I greatly multiply to those who afflict me. Many have sent sent up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, the one lifting up my head. I've cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he has answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake and I rise because the Lord is helping me. I will not be afraid of the myriad of people who are together attacking me from all sides. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck down all those opposing me. You shattered the teeth of sinners. Salvation is from the Lord, and may your blessing, O God, be upon your people. I lie down and sleep, I wake and I rise, for the Lord is helping me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, and do not discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have pierced me, and your hand has come down upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my many transgressions have risen above my head, as a heavy burden they weigh down upon me. My wounds have become foul and are festering because of my imprudent folly. I am suffering and utterly dejected as I go about all day long in misery. 
My loins are filled with agonizing pain, and there's no healing in my flesh. I'm afflicted and greatly humbled, groaning with deep sighs of pain from my heart. O oh Lord, my every desire is before you. My groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes, that too, is no longer with me. My friends and neighbors have come near to stand against me, and my close relatives stand afar off. And those seeking my soul were violent, and those seeking to harm me spoke vain things, plotting deceitful things all day long. But I, as a deaf man, did not listen. I stood there as a mute who does not open his mouth. And so I became like a man who does not hear and who does not have any retort in his mouth. For upon you, O Lord, I have placed my hope. You, O Lord, my God, are the one to hear me. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. Let them not be boastful over me when I have foot slips. For I am well prepared and ready to be scourged, and my pain is always with me. For I acknowledge and declare my, declare my iniquity. I will sorrowfully compensate for my sin. But my enemies live and have become stronger than I, and those who hate me without cause have multiplied. Now those who render me evil instead of good have slandered me because I have pursued justice. Do not forsake me then, O Lord. O my God, do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me then, O Lord, my God. Do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, to you I rise early at dawn, and my soul thirsts for you. And in many ways my body yearns for you, as if in a desert land, impassable and parched. With such strong desire I appear before you in the holy temple to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is far better than any earthly gift of life, and my lips readily praise and glorify you. Thus I will continue to bless you throughout my life and to raise my hands for prayer in your name. My soul will thus be satisfied, and as with the choice of food and morrow and fatness and with joyful lips, my mouth will praise you. As often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you become my helper. So in the shelter of your wings, I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand upholds me. But those, they who in vain have sought my soul will enter into the lowest parts of the earth and they will be surrendered to those with a sword in their hand and become the prey of jackals. The king, however, will now rejoice in God and the Lord God, and everyone who vows allegiance to him will be praised, while the mouth of those speaking unjustly will now surely be shut. <clears throat> as often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you become my helper. So in the shelter of your wings, I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with troubles, and my life has touched Hades. I am accounted as among those going down into the pit, having become as a man who is helpless, free only among the dead. I resemble wounded men cast aside asleep in a grave, whom you remember no more, and who are thrust aside by your hand. You have placed me in the deepest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. The blows of your anger have fallen upon me, and all of your successive waves you have directed upon me. You have distanced my acquaintances from me, and have uh, made me abhorrent to them. I am abandoned in isolation and, and unable to escape. My eyesight has grown weak in my misery. But I have cried to you, O Lord, all day long. To you I have lifted up my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up as shadows to acknowledge you? Surely no one in the grave will relate your mercy and your truth in the place of perdition. Will your wonders be made known in the place of darkness and your justice in the land of oblivion? And so I have cried to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer will come to you. Why, O Lord, do you push away my soul and turn your face away from me? I am poor and in tribulations from my youth. While briefly raised, I was again humbled and perplexed. Your wrath has swept over me. Your threats have utterly alarmed me. They have immersed me as in the water all day long and have totally encompassed me. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my long struggle with illness. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let it with all within the name. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefactions. He pardons all your iniquities and heals all your infirmities. 
He redeems your life from corruption and crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your needs with good things and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and justice to all who are wrong and has made his ways known to Moses, his will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate, merciful, long-suffering, and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always be angry, nor will he be wrathful forever, for he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor does he reward us according to our iniquities. For as the height of heaven is far from the earth, so greatly has the Lord extended his mercy to those who fear him. And as far as the east is from the west, so far has removed his, our sins from us. As a father has compassion to his son, so does the Lord have compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we were formed, and remembers that we are dust. As for a man, his days are like the grass, and he will flourish, but as a flower of the field, for the wind will pass through it, and soon it will disappear. No one will recognize its place any longer. But the mercy of the Lord remains forever and ever upon those who fear him, and his righteousness among those upon the sons of son who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments and observe them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his king rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, the mighty ones who do his bidding, who hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his heavenly powers, his ministry who carried out his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in all the places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Accept my supplication in your truthfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter the judgment of your servants, for no living person can be justified before you. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has humbled my life to the ground, making me sit and sit, sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit within me became despondent while my heart was deeply troubled. I remember the days of old and pondered on all your works, reflecting on the creations of your hands. I lifted up my hands to you. My soul thirsts me like a parched land. Quickly answer me, O Lord, my spirit is expiring. Do not turn your face away from me, at least if like those who have gone down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I place my hope in you. Make known to me, O Lord, the way I wish to follow. For to you I have lifted up my soul. Rescue from my enemies, O Lord, for, you, for to you I have taken refuge. Seek to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in a straight and upright path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, grant me life. In your, not, in your righteousness, bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, utterly destroy my enemies. And bring to nothing all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter the judgment of the servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter the judgment of the servant. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight and upright path. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Nid <speaking in Hebrew> To <speaking in Hebrew> Pandos to Clidu, Clidu, Ketulao, to Kidio, the Ethoman. Our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for the city and parish, for every city and land, and the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, 
us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I defended myself against them. And this came about from the Lord, and it's wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. <coughs> Son and to the Holy Spirit, when the angelic powers appeared at your tomb, and those who guarded you became as though dead, and standing by your sepulcher was Mary seeking your pure and sacred body, for you did vanquish Hades and uncorrupted by its touch. You came to the virgin woman, bestowing the gift of life. O oh, you who rose from the dead, Lord, we give glory to you. Both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. You who called her, who was blessed among women, your mother, proceeded to the passion of your own will, O Lord. On the cross you shined your light, seeking Adam as you wished. And you said to the angels, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that was lost. You have arranged everything wisely. Glory to you. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. The 
sepulchre had been opened, and Hades was lamenting, and Mary cried aloud to the apostles in hiding, You laborers of the vineyard, go out and proclaim the message of the resurrection. The Lord has risen and granted the world the great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Standing by your sepulcher was Mary Magdalene, O Lord. And she was weeping loudly, and mistaking you for the gardener, and said to you, Where have you laid him who has the everlasting life? Where have you hidden him who sits enthroned on the cherubim? Out of fear, those who guarded him became as dead men. Either give my Lord to me or cry aloud with me. You were among the dead and raised the dead. Glory to you. Both now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Gideon is given a sign of your conception, and David <clears throat> gives us a description of your childbirth. O allotted Theotokos, the Logos came down into your womb like the dew on the fleece, and thus without seed you the holy earth brought forth the world's salvation, who is Christ our God, O Lady full of grace. Life was placed in the tomb, and a seal was placed on the stone. The soldiers were guarding Christ like a sleeping king. Then the Lord struck his enemies and stunned them as he awoke and rose. Προϊστορίο Ιωνάς των τάφων σου <coughs> και ερμηνεύει σημαίων την έγκυρσιν την ένθεον αθάνατε Κύριε <coughs> κατέβεις γαρός η νεκρός εν το τάφο ο λύσας άδου τα σπήλας ανέστης δε ανευθωράς ως δεσπότης του κόσμου ισοτηρίαν. Χριστέ ο Θεός φωτίσας τους εν σκότη. Ο Θάων ευρωτριέτης ο Βίγης αμέ, ο Βέρτζεν Θεοτόκος, Implore your Son, Christ our God, who voluntarily was nailed to the cross and who rose from the dead and entreat him to save our souls. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the host of the angels saw how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointment with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. <laughs> Κύριος πέπετε μη κλέτε την αναστασίτε Αποστήλος η ύπετε Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statue Every moon is in front for the spices To your sepulchre, O Savior There the voice of the angel clearly speaking to him Why do you have come among the dead, the one who lives For he is God and has risen from the sepulchre Vox 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 
πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι προσκυνούμε πατέρα και τον τούτου ιόντε και το αγίο πνεύμα την αγία τριάδα εν μια τη ουσία συν τη σεραφήν χάζονται στο αγίος 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 η Κύριε Amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, a virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has erected to the life who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 lopsas y oteos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. O Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By your voluntary life-giving death, O Christ, who smashed the gates of Hades as God, and you opened to us the ancient garden of paradise. Then, rising from the dead, you delivered our life and life from destruction. Deliver the life from destruction. <speaking in Hebrew> Σοφθαλμούς μου έρω προσέλω για ηκτηρών με να ζώσει. Have mercy on us who are the object of your contempt, O Logos, and make us your useful vessel. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the cause of the salvation of all. When he blows on anyone as befits his nature, he quickly uplifts them from anything mundane. He gives them wings, he gives them growth, he gives them high position. If the Lord had not been with us, none of us could have withstood a single battle with the foe. Those who are victorious are from here exalted. Let not my soul be caught like a sparrow in their teeth. O Logos, woe is me. How shall I be delivered from the enemy, enamored with sin that I am? Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. And the Holy Spirit is the efficacious possible for all, good pleasure, understanding, peace, and blessing. He is the same energies as the Father and the Logos. Those who trust in the Lord are fearsome to foes and marvel above, for they look to heaven. Having you as harbor the inheritance, the righteous do not stretch their hands in lawlessness, O Savior. Looks about three K on Kayap Navati. Kenin Kayai Kesu Seona Soneon on a me. The Holy Spirit is universal dominion, which the armies in heaven worship, as does every breathing being on earth. O 
Lord, raise up your power and come for our salvation. O Lord, raise up your power and come to our salvation. O Pimenon to Israel, Proskes, Kyrie, Exegiron, Tin Dynastion, Su, Kelthe, Istoso, Seima. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ God, the giver of life, resurrected all who had ever died from the dismal caverns with his vivifying hand, and he granted resurrection to our mortal human nature. For he is the savior of all, the resurrection and life and God of the universe. And God of, of the, the universe. O giver of life, we the faithful extol and venerate your cross <coughs> and burial. For you, O immortal, <coughs> omnipotent God, overpowered and vanquished the netherworld. You crushed the gates of Hades, O God, and you destroyed the power of death. Now we, born on earth with fervor, sing praise to you who rose from the dead, destroyed the power of the murderous foe, resurrected everyone who believed in you, and rescued the world from the sting of the serpent. As the ultimate strong man freed us from the foe's deception, from now on we solemnly sing the praises of your resurrection, by which you saved us as God of the universe. As God of the universe. I revolted senselessly out of your fatherly glory and have squandered sinfully all the riches you gave me. Hence, to you, using the prodigal's words, I cry out, I have sinned before you, merciful, loving Father. O oh, receive me in repentance, I pray, and treat me as one of your hired hands. And treat me as treat one, one of your hired hands. Let us listen to the scriptures as our Savior teaches us each day in his own words about the prodigal son who returned to his senses. Let us imitate his genuine repentance with faith and with a humble heart cry out to the Lord who sees all our secrets. We have sinned against you, compassionate Father. We are no longer worthy as before to be called your children. But I implore you who are by nature benevolent, come welcome me back and treat me as one of your hired hands. And treat me as one of your hired hands. On March 3rd, we commemorate the holy martyrs Eftropios, Cleonicos, and Vasiliskos. On this day, we also commemorate the holy Aero martyr Theodoritos, presbyter of Antioch. On this day, Saints Zeno and Zoilos died in peace. On this day, the devout Saint Piamon, the Virgin, died in peace. On this day, we remember the parable of the prodigal son from the Holy Gospel, which the Most Divine Fathers placed second in the Triodion. If anyone be prodigal like me, take courage, for to all is the door of divine mercy now open. In your ineffable benevolence, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. So the inanala vusa, voice on psyche, voice os que que pasis, e geneto mi sotirian, utos muteos que doxas of toi. Barren has my mind become, make me a fruitful, <laughs> O God, in your compassion, as the husband of the good 
and gardener of all that is virtuous. When he first saw your nativity from the virgin prophet, crying out the old proclaim, I have heard your report, I have become frightened, for you have come to us out of tavern and overshadowed holy mountain, O oh my Christ. With the night being over, day has arrived, O Master, and the light has shone forth upon the world. For this reason, the orders of angels extol you, and they glorify you, O Christ our God. The God of my transgressions, O Savior, presses me, and in the ocean of life I am foundering. As once you extracted Jonah from the well, so now from the passion haul me up and bring me to safety. And no man have logo man ke proski no man ton kidiot. Within the bush once the Lord on Mount Sinai prefigured unto Moses and virgin maidens miracle of old. Extol him as you bless him and exalt supremely unto all the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. In the Satan point, Let us pray to the Lord a God found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus went up and stood among his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and supposed that they saw a spirit. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do these questionings rise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and wondered what that was said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it before them. Then he said to them, these are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me and the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that the repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all generations beginning in Jerusalem. You are the witnesses to these things and behold I send forth the promise of my Father among you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with the power from on high. And then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands to them, he blessed them. And while he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple blessing God. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. 
For you are our God, apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion. What of my transgression? Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words, and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived into transgressions, and into sins my mother bore me. Behold, you have loved truth, you showed me the unknown secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be thoroughly whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness, and the bones which were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore me to the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltness, O God, the giver of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would give it, but you will not be burned with hope and offerings. O sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, broken, humble, and heart God will not despise. Do good, O God, in your good pleasure desire and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then will you be pleased with the sacrifice of offerings, righteousness and hope and offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Oh, 
my soul with shameful sins, and I heedlessly squandered all of my life's resources by your intercessions be save your people and bless your inheritance visit your world in mercy and compassion exalt the horn of orthodox christians and send down upon us your rich mercies through the prayers of our most pure lady the theotokos and ever virgin mary through the power of the precious and life-giving cross through the protection of the honorable vitalist powers of heaven, through the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of Peter and Paul the Twelve and the Seventy Holy, glorious and all-ordered apostles, and of Herman the Apostle to America, of our fathers among the saints, the great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the theologian, and John Christ system of Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, the Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mira, Spiridon of Trimithus, Nectarios of Pontapolis, and John of San Francisco, the Wonder Workers, of our fathers among the saints, Innocent and Tikhon, the Enlighteners of America, Raphael of Brooklyn, Mater Regia of Chicago, and Saint Luke, the Surgeon of Simropol, of the Holy Protomartyr, Archdeacon Stephen and the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Mer Streaming, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker, of Eleftherios, Caralambus, Cosmas, et Alos, John, Alexander, and Juvenali, the holy priest martyrs, <laughs> of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina Paraskevi, and Irene, of Peter the Aleut and Proto-Martyr of North America, and of the 70 glorious, victorious, 179 martyrs of the Daupendelis Monastery, 
of Kyriakos and of the unmercenary and healer Pantaleimon, of the priest confessors, Alexis of Pennsylvania, Jacob of Alaska, and Sebastian of San Francisco, and of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and all of the holy ascetics, of the evangelist and apostle Mark, the patron saint of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the saints we commemorate today, the holy martyrs, Eftropios, Cleonicos, Vasiliskos, the higher martyr Theodoritos, of the saints Zeno and Zoilos, and on devout Father Piamon, and on this, the second Sunday of the Triodion, we remember the parable of the prodigal son. And of all your saints, we beseech you, the only all merciful Lord, hear the prayer of us sinners, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Through the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Magnify the Theotokos, the mother of light. Megalini psychi muton girion, ke igaliose to pnevma mu, epito theoto sotirimu, tintimio terra ton cheruvin, ke loxotera na singrito son serafim. Dina dia thoros theon homon te gusan, in ondon se otokon se megalinume. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He is mighty, has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy upon those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength as his, as his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has, he has put down the mighty from the thralls and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and set the rich to send empty away. Greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Ton <laughs> 
ήτισε ώρα και ποτέ ότι παρθένος ευρέθη εν γαστρή έχουσα και αν ο δίνος το βρέφος αποτεκούσα τι ούτων σου το θαύμα και σε αγνή Θεοκήτορ Μαρία Μεγαλύνομαι Pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come down our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lord, of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. The powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Υψού το Κύριον τον Θεόν ημών και προσκυνήτω το υποποδίο των ποδών αυτού ότι ο Ιωάννης εσύ Proving your disciples that you are human in essence O Savior, you partook, took of food after your resurrection. You stood among them and taught them that they should preach repentance. You promised them that you would send the Holy Spirit. Then you were lifted up and ascended to the heavenly Father. O God, beyond divine and man, glory to your resurrection. The riches of your gifts of grace, which gave you a wretched one, I squandered badly, O Savior, since without cause I departed and lived in great extravagance. The demons tricked me to disperse, and therefore as the prodigal, I am returning, receive me, O oh, loving Father, and save me. And now that we trust in it, 
we extol you, our God, who has risen. Have mercy on us. Of the world, have mercy on us. 
who will take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us. For only you are the Holy One. Only you are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever. To the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing the stains of the world. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O God, for mercy to us and send us to the Son of Holy Spirit, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Most holy blessed God, are you, us. O Lord. Blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord. Blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, May Christ, our true God, who from rose from one generation to the next. God, have mercy on us. the prayers of His holy God. The holy glorious Lord, the apostles of St. Mark, and the of our church, Ephesopropios, Cleonicos, Pasolacos, Zenos, and Zenos, the martyrs, Theodorentos of Antioch, and Nonita, the mother of St. David, for all your sins that we remember and protect them. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. And in your light we see light. Pour forth your mercy on those who know you. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy, immortal, have mercy. to Patros, blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Irini tu Kiriu de Ithomen. Ανωθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊθό, υπέρ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊθό, 
for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, there, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. Blessed whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose 
from the dead. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. The Lord reigns unto the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. So, Sony Marcia Peru, O Anasasek Mekron, Salon Marcia, Alleluia. Doxa Patrike, O Kyo Pragmati, Kenin Kyai, Jesus, O Anasun, O Non Ami. O Mono Yenisio, Selogos, O Teru, Atalatos, O Parfon. Again, again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, men are most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious, Lydithiotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When the angelic powers appear at your tomb, and those who guarded you became as though dead, and standing by your sepulchre was Mary seeking your pure and sacred body. For you did vanquish Hades and uncorrupted by its touch. You came unto the virgin woman, bestowing the gift of life. O you who rose from the dead, Lord, we give glory to you. Sophia, Orphea, come let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Recorded for all of us the same. 
Savior's most divine holy gospel. Therefore, O evangelists, we lovingly honor you. I revoked incessantly out of your fatherly glory. I have squandered sinfully all of the riches you gave me. Thanks to you, using the prodigal's words I cry. Kiriu deitho men, Kiriu deitho men, Oti agios e o Theo Simon, Que si tin doxan anapen bo men, To patri que to io, Que to agio pnebmati, Nin que agi. Que se onas to ne onon, I mean, let us pray to the Lord. Conviction. Bless Master Prothesis. Save your people and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I have cried, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be enslaved by anything. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food, and God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God raised the Lord and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I therefore take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Do you not know that he who joins himself to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it is written, the two shall become one flesh. But he who is united to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Shun immorality. Every other sin which a man commits is outside the body. 
but the immoral man sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which belong to God. Be with you, the reader. loving hearts, O Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered all sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, O God, are show mercy to us and save us, and you're the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all-holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. The Lord said this parable. There was a man who had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of property that falls to me. And he divided his living between them, and not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took his journey into a far country. And there he squandered his property in loose living. And when he had spent everything, a great famine arose in that country, and he began to be in want. So he went and he joined himself to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have fed on the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare? but I perish here with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and he came to his father. But while he was yet at a distance, his father saw him and had compassion and rised and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and make merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again, and he was lost and is found. And they began to make merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what this meant. And he said to him, your brother has come and your father has killed the fatted calf because he has received him safe and sound. But he was very angry and refused to go in. His father came out and entreated him, but he answered his father, Lo, these many years I have served you and I never disobeyed your command, yet you never gave me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But when this son of yours came, who has devoured your living with harlots, you killed for him the fatted calf. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. It is fitting to make merry and be glad, for this your brother was dead, and is alive, and he was lost, and is found. Peace be with you who proclaims the gospel. Again, we bow.
bow before you and we pray to you, O good and loving God, hear our supplication and grant that our souls and bodies may be freed from every defilement of flesh and spirit and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, life, faith, and spiritual discernment and to those who pray with us that we may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always, guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. And now let us pray the Lord. Pleasures is worthy to approach, draw near, and minister to you in the kingdom of glory, to put to serve you as great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration and change. You have served as our high priest and the Lord of all, and have entrusted to us this liturgical sacrifice. Without the shedding of blood, you alone are holy and dwell among your saints. And you are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the seraphim, the king of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints and are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer you these gifts that are presented, so that vested with the grace of the priesthood, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the pure mystery of your holy, pure body and your precious blood. Therefore, I come with my bowed head and pray, do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but make me to me your sinful and unworthy priest, worthy to offer these gifts for you, O Christ our God, Let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Hallelujah. We praise and glorify your holy resurrection, Lord our God, and we know no other way to Jesus. Come all you faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the world. Blessing the Lord always, let us praise the resurrection.
Pandon imon, mnisi Kyrios o Theos, en i vasilia aftu pandote, ninke ahi, keisus eonas ton eonon. Amin. Ta gospod, boks pojmines, fenu tu svarbes foja, Svak da sadi veku veku va. Amin. Prego peto zrepti mare tore lor, kreshnin sava, pomenyasha domnem nu, domne zu, en true imporasia sa, to edia e vana kumshie, Urgan se un veci veci lor. Amin. El Señor, Dios te cuerde de nosotros, en su reino enteramente ora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amin. Πίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού εις ιόντων εν αυτό του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Ελαϊσόν. Υπέρ του νηστήρι μας όπου πάσης θλίψας οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Ελαϊσόν. Αντιλαβούσος ον ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χαρητή. Κύριε Ελέησον. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our times, of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. 
Blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through you, Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, proskumentine yenon aforan, en irini prosferin. Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. On us homentas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks unto the Lord of Charistis Omento Kirio. beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we fell away, you raised us up again, and do not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all the things we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand beside you, the seraphim, the six-winged, many eyes soaring aloft upon their wings. Ton epinikion imnon, avonda vonda, ke kragota ke levonda. Thank you. 
loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And he came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night in which he was delivered up, or rather, he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete e faiete tutum vestito soma, toi perimon clomenon is afesina martion. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Piete ex aftu pandes tutu estito emamo. Totis kinis ti atikis toi perimon polone hinomenon. Isafesina martion. Remembering, therefore, the saving commandment, all that has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, and the enthronement at the hip, and the second and glorious coming again. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Si proserumen cada pando que dia pando. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, praying and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts that are here present. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. That which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that we may partake of those. Those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, keeping them confidence before you and not into judgment or condemnation. We offer to you spiritual worship for those who have opposed you to faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous man. Εξαιρέτως εις Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλοημένης εν δόξου δεσφήνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρία. Bishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, this, those who are in this city that live in every city and country and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the, si- the sick, the suffering, and captives. For those who are traveling, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable works and those who are serving in your holy churches and those who care for the poor. We remember, Lord, especially today, those who are enduring religious persecution about the world for peace in the world. For our St. Mark family, the Goyans who are in New England this weekend, for our Yiro, Sophia, Laddie, Alexandra, Marlene, 
Mary Jane, Pete, Dimitri, Peter, Melanie, Talia, Elena, Alexandra, Gloria, Stavros, George, Nicholas, Mary Ellen, Barbara, Chris, Beth, Spiridon, Samantha, Michael, Margarita, Kathy, Irene, Zachary, Evgenia, Olivia, and Constantinos, and remember them all, O Lord. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. And the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, dear faithful. A blessing to be together this morning. And as you can see, during snow season, it's almost a reoccurring thing that we have new priests that are in the altar. So allow me to take this opportunity to greet them all with their families as well. Especially, we will see that we have serving with us today, a dear friend of mine from seminary, and it's a great blessing to be together, Father Sebastian. He is the current assistant priest with Presbyter and Nikki, who's right over there. And they are preparing very shortly, just before Pascha, to do the chaplaincy training for the Navy. So he is approaching, they are approaching together this next stage in their lives. We also have from Canada, Father Lorendios, no plan to have two Romanian priests here, but they were here together without any coordination. So that's a beautiful thing. Father Peter Carlutzis from up north, Father Dean Paleologos, and our dear spiritual fathers, Father Alexander and Father Peter. So it's always a blessing to gather together in order to do so. And I'm going to bring forth a little bit about the importance of having spiritual guides and brothers and sisters in life shortly after. Today, I just want to remind you all of the St. Mark Lenten challenge that is to come. It is important to know that we are doing this only through realm. It is the only way for us to truly account for and to know who is committed to doing so. That being said, most of you have used realm thus far. If you haven't, we will assist you next door or in the office during this week. But it's very important because as many of you know, when you log into the realm app, you go to an event and you select who you are doing this for. It's important to know that, for example, for myself, I'm going to select one for my wife and I that we've already talked about, but I'm not going to do it for our one-year-old, Zachariah. He's just not able to write and journal at this time. But a great blessing is, whenever anyone is interested, please go through and do only those who are committed to doing this. So may our dear Lord continue to bring us together at this time and forevermore and help us remember our spiritual fathers and guides in our lives. Amen. Once again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return, send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. We entrust to you, O Lord, your master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries, your precious body and blood, from this holy and spiritual table, with a clear conscience, for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, 
inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Tato nostru, care ești în cer, sfințească să numele Tău, fie împărăția Ta, facă să voie Ta, precum în cer așa și pe pământ, Pâinea noastră, care are toate zilele, dă-ne noastră și ne iartă nouă păcatele noastră, precum și noi iertăm găsiți-o în noștri și nu ne duce pe noi în ispită și ne mântuiește de cel rău. Jesus, Tini Vasilia, for yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In posse, peace be with you all. to the Lord. Give thanks to you. you are all things by your mercy, and you brought everything out of nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads and bent their necks before you. For they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, guard the course of our lives according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. Proscume. The holy gifts are for the holy. Break, Master. The Lamb of God is broken. Distributed Master, by the holy cup for every eating and never consumed. Sanctify those who partake. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ conquers.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A day filled going from sadness to gladness. In a famed text, The Return of the Prodigal, this concept of going from sadness to gladness is brought forth by a modern day theologian. And it's truly a blessing for us to remember going from sadness to gladness in every moment of our spiritual lives. Today's gospel reading is truly one that speaks to so many. It's almost like a gospel that is about each of our lives. The gospel narrative of the prodigal son is truly one that speaks to me. And I'd like to offer a few things about that today. In the pre-Lenten period, the Triodion, which we spoke of last week, we truly have the opportunity to set ourselves in the Lenten frame, but more so than the Lenten frame, into the spiritual frame of living proper and good lives that are pleasing to God. We know of the story where there are two sons, and the younger son takes his inheritance at the young age. He flees and tells his father, I am taking my inheritance. He goes and he indulges. He squanders his entire life away, not just his funds, but his entire self, to the point of when he woke up one day in the slop in the mud with the pigs, realizing that he needed to return home to the grace of his father and the beauty of family. So my brothers and sisters, there are three figures in today's gospel. And so I'd like to bring each of them to light because sometimes we focus ourselves on which one we are more akin to at a certain time. But I can tell you that each moment of each day, we are like one of them. So in the spirit of preparing for Great Lent, let's think of these three figures along the way. First being the father, the father who is good to his sons, the father who cares for the land, the father who provides all good things in life. He is truly one that we can look to. Whether we have a father who is still with us, a father who guides us from a family standpoint, a spiritual father like the many years of priesthood that are before us in the altar today, or certainly our heavenly father who continues to bestow his mercy and compassion and love for us every day, especially through the gift of the Eucharist that he offers to us. So we flee from sadness to gladness when we seek a closer relationship with our Father who is in heaven, and even with those fathers on earth that comfort us on a daily basis, give us wisdom and understanding in those tough times, and give us that gladness, that joy that is needed to get through the perils and the many things in life. So the father experiences as his son leaves home a sense of loss and betrayal. But this turns into gladness and jubilation when he sees his son at a distance returning back home, even to the effect of forgiving and making a lavish return for his son putting the best robe on him, giving him a ring, and preparing a party for him, welcoming his son back to know that home is the place of security and mercy, that place that turns sadness into gladness. The older brother is another figure in today's gospel. He is potentially prideful or is upset that his brother goes off with his inheritance he says that he lives a righteous life. He says that he did not do what his brother did and go and squander his riches. This sounds familiar if we remember that parallel to the prodigal son last week. This older brother shows what he has done in this life, outwardly says what he is to be recognized for, instead of remembering that his brother needs to return home 
and to be received with love and goodness. So the others, the older brother's pridefulness is remedied potentially by the spirit of humility. Humility when others rejoice. This is the message from the older brother, to humble ourselves, to remember that even sadness of others can turn into gladness when we give our hearts and love to them. And certainly, we can all remember and draw witness to in our days the prodigal son, that person who leaves home, that person who walks out of the church's doors and leaves the Spirit of God for whatever time in life. They leave their parents' homes, including myself, and squander part of their inheritance, whether it's financial, spiritual, mental, or anything else, we all are called to remember what happens, no matter how far we are away, to be like that prodigal, who in the midst of being in the muck, in the mud with the pigs, comes to himself and realizes that he too needs to be clean. Speaking of spiritual cleanliness, we will offer in the weeks of Great Lent committed days to be able to offer ourselves in the spirit of confession, receiving the mystery of grace that helps clean us and make us whiter than snow. No matter how deep we are in our sin, no matter how covered we are like the prodigal swimming with the pigs, there always is an opportunity, a hope to be cleansed through the Eucharist, through confession, and through returning to God the Father, just as we are doing today. And it's important for us to remember, my brothers and sisters, that no matter how far we are away, God is there ready to receive us. He is there because he is ready for us to come back to him. And so these three figures remind me truly of how we can live our daily lives. Instead of just thinking that we are here and we can live good lives regardless of what happens, we truly can look at the gospel teachings to bring us closer to him on high, going from this place of sadness into gladness. When we come forth to receive the Eucharist today, when we prepare ourselves to receive the sacraments, they are for a cleansing of mind, body, and soul, a cleansing from any point of sadness into the gladness and the hope of the resurrection and the life of the age to come. I want to conclude today by offering something of returning as the prodigal myself. Many years my parents received me no matter what it was in life that drew me away from the church or the home. Then into seminary, friends like Father Sebastian, spiritual guides in my life who would hear my countless confessions during the course of seminary work and even to this day. And to these spiritual brothers, fathers and priests who stand in our holy altar holding up the tenets of the faith, we all are called to have someone to talk to. We all are asked to connect with at least one person in this life spiritually. That can be your spouse, that can be your parents, your grandparents, clergy, a wise person, or someone who is willing to listen and be there for you. I ask that on this Lenten journey, above all things, you find someone who you can truly connect to. You find someone who you can entrust those difficult parts of your soul. You find someone who you can present your sadness to and can remind you of Jesus Christ who gives us gladness through all tribulation and trials of life. So let us remember today this beautiful narrative in the gospel and come forth returning just like that prodigal did to receive the good grace of his father as we now prepare to draw forth and receive the body and blood of Christ, now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. Let us continue by reciting the communion prayer. Together, I believe and confess, Lord, 
that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, whom am worthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near.
Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from all my fears he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. your faces may not blush with shame when the poor cry out the Lord hears them and rescues them from all their distress I will bless the Lord at all times his praise be ever on my lips my soul will glory in the Lord encamped around those who fear him to rescue them taste and see that the Lord is good happy are they who take refuge in him I will bless the Lord at all times his praise be ever on my lips my soul will glory in the Lord Save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true Lord. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity, who has saved Blessed is our God, O now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, cross, and mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. Thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we offer up glory, thanksgiving and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. We continue our prayers this morning by remembering those who have fallen asleep for a 40-day memorial for Bill Johnson, one year for Laura Richards, one year for Angeliki Mosio, one year for Gus Costa Constantinu, one year for Georgianne Georgiou, one year for Carlo Prinzo, two years for Maria Variazzis, a nine year for Jack Anthony D'Ambrosio, a nine year for Nicholas Spiro Costas, a nine year for Spiro Lambru, and a 42 and a 70 year, two year for the following priests, for Father Ioan and Father Valerio. Let us pray together for their souls. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, Give rest also to the soul of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Oxa Patrike, O Ke Ayo Pnevmati, Si O Theo Simono Katavasis Adin, Ketas Odinas Lisas Ton Pepe Dimenon, Aftos Ketas Psychas Ton Dulon Su, Soteran Apafson. And forever to the ages of ages, Amen. Only pure and immaculate birth. Virgin who gave birth to God in virginity. Pray for the salvation of the souls of your servant. With no pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. Metaton. Ulipi 
on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, William, Bill, Laura, Angeliki, Costagas, Georgianne, Carlo, Maria, Jack, Nicholas, Spiro, and our consulabrants and priests, Juan the priest and Valeria the priest, who have fallen asleep and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins. From Christ, our immortal King and God. This, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and give life to your world. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, William, Laura, Angeliki, Gus, Costa, Georgianne, Carlo, Maria, Jack, Nicholas, Spiro, Ioani, Ioan, and Valerio, the priest and our concelebrants, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, and in a place of refreshment where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. And as a good and loving God, forgive every sin in which they have committed in word, deed, or thought. For there is no one who lives and does not sin except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. <laughs> Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπω μεν, συν το ανάρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι, νυν και αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Αιωνία σας η μνήμη αξιωμακάριστη και αείμνηστη αδελφή ημών. May your memories be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters. You are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. to come upon you through his divine grace and love always, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, as a loving and merciful God, who rose from the dead as a good and loving and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers and intercessions of the Holy Pure Mother, the Theotokos and Ever-Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, 
the protection of the honorable body of this powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy, glorious, and prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praise of the apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, and of our holy and God-bearing fathers, the righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Eleison que sos unimos. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Trinity guide and protect you on this day and forevermore. Please be seated for just a moment here. So as a great joy, we would like to recognize the one visitor that is with us today, at least it's signed in, Kiki Sitanakis, and she is from Fort Lauderdale. Please introduce yourself and let us know that you're here. Also, in addition to Presbytera Nikki, who I mentioned, Father Sebastian's wife earlier, we have Presbytera Camelia and the children, who again are Father Lorendios' family coming from the Toronto area in Canada. May we continue to be together in prayer. I'd like to ask this morning for Father Sebastian to offer on Diderone for me. So we spent a lot of time together at school, after school, doing many things. We've been to many countries together to do missionary work. Anyways, friends that transcend beyond being just friends. So this is our first time as priests, even though at the clergy retreats we would room together. This is our first time as priests being able to serve the divine liturgy together. So whenever he and the other retired priests are knowing that I'm walking this way, Father Sebastian, would you like to come and offer on Diderón with the faithful? So a true blessing. Always great to see our myrrh bearers with us today as well. May our dear Lord continue to guide us and bring us together on this day and forevermore. Amen. Also, today in the fellowship hall, we are starting, even though it's a little bit early, we are starting to offer different information about two things. One is about realm. The other thing is that the golf tournament, our St. Mark golf tournament on Bright Week is going to be um, available in the fellowship hall. God bless you all. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy the sunshine. Please come forth to receive. Oh. 
Hallelujah. 